Climate change is raising sea levels, but where does all this extra water come from? It's melting Arctic sea ice, right? Actually, no. Think of a full glass of water with ice. The glass doesn't overflow when the ice melts. The excess water comes from elsewhere. Worldwide, there are hundreds of thousands of freshwater glaciers on land made of compressed snow. And if all the ice on land melted, the melting freshwater would raise the ocean by 70 meters, drowning many major coastal cities. There's another invisible source raising sea levels, thermal expansion. This physics rule says that warming substances, including the ocean, expand. As the planet warms, the ocean absorbs heat from the atmosphere. Today, thermal expansion contributes one-third to rising sea levels, while the other two-thirds come from melting land ice. Since the early 1900s, the sea has risen 20 centimeters, with more than five centimeters in the last two decades alone. This might not sound like much until you consider that this is an additional 20 centimeters across the entire ocean, or 71% of the planet. By mid-century, the coming 10 to 20 centimeter rise will double the frequency of storm surges and flooding in the tropics, and make many low-lying Pacific Island nations unlivable. And by the end of the century, melting ice sheets in Antarctica will raise global coastlines by at least one meter if emissions continue as usual. A one meter sea level rise will flood the homes of a projected 4.2 million Americans, while hundreds of millions will be at risk worldwide. Even if you don't live by a flooding coastline, the people displaced by sea level rise will reshape inland countries and communities. So let's think about the future generations and rise to the challenge. <laughs>